To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. Hi friends, now we'll discuss about how to download a tally application, how to install tally application and how to create a company and how to alter the company and how to delete the company and how to create a secured company. Make sure if you want to download tally application always approach the tally official website. Tally Solutions Private Limited have its own official website that is tallysolutions.com. So, from the browser, you just search for www.tallysolutions.com. So, now I am just going to open uh, the browser. So, you just search for www.tallysolutions.com. So, this is an official website which is run by Tally Solutions Private Limited Company. So, from this website, you may click on Download tab. Just click on Downloads tab. When you click on Downloads tab, you will get invoked to another page. The page is showing that there is totally two options has been given. One is Install Now and the other one is Download for Later. When you click on Install Now, only the raw file will get downloaded. The remaining files will be downloaded on the time of installations and when you click on download for later the complete setup file will get downloaded and you can install the application even in offline also so it is better to always go through with a download for later function and when you click on download for later automatically the downloading process will get started so it takes around two to three minutes it is having around 84.75 mb so after once the downloading is completed you just click on setup file so it takes around two to three minutes you just wait for a few minutes after once the downloading is completed you just click on the setup file and after clicking on setup file you may close the browser so when you click on setup file automatically the installation process will get started so now the system is asking you about to confirm the permission you just accept the permission as well and when you accept the permission automatically the next level of installation process will get started so now it is asking you to install tally in c drive make sure it is not good to install tally application in c drive because in the future whenever you want to format the system you have to lose the data to fix the issue you create a new folder in other than c drive so i'm going to create a new folder so in my computer, I'm going to create a new folder in F drive. In F drive, there is no folder is now it is showing that this folder is empty. I'm going to create a new folder in F drive and the folder name called as tally. So now I just created a new folder in F drive. The folder name is the tally. So now just click on the application extension. Now in the place of installation folder, you try to click on the dot options and you just select the respective drive and the respective folder that what we declared and now i'm going to install the same application in f drive my drive is f drive in f drive i just created a folder called as tally so now by default it is showing to to install tally application in c drive now i'm going to change that same to f drive in f drive i already created a folder called as tally so in f drive i'm going to install my application in tally folder so after once confirming the path that way you way to install you may click on directly install and when you click on install automatically the process of installation in f drive tally folder will get started it takes around two to three minutes of time so it is most important to do not install in C drive. You, are, you always used to install other than C drive. So the installation process will take around again uh, two to three minutes. Now the installation process is going on. Now the installation process is coming to end. Now make sure before installation, I don't have any tally icon in my desktop. After completing the installation, the tally logo has been created on my desktop screen. It's in the name of tally.erp9. So you can see the message as given. You have successfully installed tally.erp9 series A release number 6.5.1 and just click on done. When you click on done, you will get the first page that is the tally welcome note. 
and this is the first tally welcome note this is the first page that will face in tally application just allow the accessibility yeah and this is the first window that you are going to observe in tally application when you after installing the tally application now it is giving a chance in the name of licensing operations there is a first option called as activate your license if you want to use tally application for your company commercial use first of all you have to buy the license from tally partners or tally company by making the payment if it is for single user you have to pay for 18000 plus taxes for a multi user 54000 plus taxes so if you want to use the tally application for your company commercial use first of all you have to buy tally and after when you make the payment towards tally company or tally partners you will get some serial number and activation key by using serial number and activation key you can activate the license for the first time so now i'm going to click on activate the license now the system is asking you to confirm serial key activation key and administrator email id so i'm just going to confirm the serial number activation key and admin password so when you confirm activation key serial number email id you will get this screen so this is the screen when you get after confirming those details so when you confirm serial number and activation key and email id the mail id will receive a unlock key so in this location you just confirm the unlock key whatever that you received in your email id so now we can see the message as given is tally successfully activated so that is the first option which is used to activate the license for the first time the second thing the second thing that we have is reactivate your existing license so when your license is already working somewhere or when your license is already uh, activated somewhere if you want to access the same license in this computer you should press reactivate license now i'll show you how to reactivate the license we just seen that how to activate the license for the first time next i'm going to show you how to activate the license on second time onwards so now i'm going to select as reactivate your existing license so i'm just clicking on the same so this acts as the permissions as well so now in the time of reactivation you have to confirm the initial admin's email id and admin's password as well so i'm going to confirm the email id and this is my email id which is already activated somewhere and confirm the same password so when you confirm the right username and the right password automatically the license will get a list of activation numbers from list of activation number you just select the respective license which is already activated somewhere and when you select the license key automatically the license is activated congratulations your license is successfully reactivated so this is a way how we activate the license if it is already activated somewhere if not if you don't want to activate the license or if you don't want to reactivate the license you may as a student you can go to work in education mode only the thing is you cannot access all the dates in tally application in the license mode you can access all the dates and if it is in education mode you can access only first of the month second of the month and end of the month dates so as a student you may go to work in education mode so now this is the first page that you are observing in tally application after once opening the tally application so now you can see that there is a option has been given in the name of company information select company login as remote user and create company now you know very well how to open tally application if it is for commercial use you may click on activate to activate the license for the first time and if the license is already activated somewhere you may click on reactivate and as a student you can go to work in education mode like this next i'm going to show you how to create a new company from tally application for the first time after once opening the tally application this is the first window that you are observing in tally application so just go to a uh, create company now you can see that in the place of name of company there is no companies are created in this company now i'm going to create a first company by clicking on uh, create company you just click on create company or even you can use to press enter on the same now this is a company profile screen and here you have to confirm all the details of the company like uh, name of the business mailing name of the business address mobile number email id mobile number so those details you have to confirm in this location so first of all before confirming those profile now you have to confirm the first directory that where you want to save the new new company by default it is set to c drive is you wish to save the same company in c drive no because it is not good to save your company in c drive so always used to save your companies in other than c drive so now i'm going to 
say my drive is in my location i already copied the address by using control c now i'm going to paste the same address by using control plus alt plus v so that is e drive and the tally folder next it is asking you to confirm the name of the business in the place of name you may confirm the business communication name so now here i'm going to confirm the business name as reliance and next it is asking you about mailing name so in the place of name you can write the business as communication name which is used to only in tally application but in the place of mailing name you have to confirm the legal name of the business which is actually registered so yes it is registered in the name of reliance industries private limited yes so this is the difference between name and uh, mailing name the name of the business is going to use only to communicate in tally application and the mailing name is going to print on your sales invoice it is going to print on your all the business reports as well next it is asking you to confirm the business address so i'm just going to confirm the business address as well So after once confirming the business address, just confirm the country and the confirm the state and confirm your aerial pin code. And next it is asking you about contact details. You just confirm the business mobile number and business phone number or even fax and your email ID and even your website address. After once confirming this profile, you may press Ctrl plus A to save the company instantly or you, you may press 16 times enter to save the company. So there is totally two options to save the company instantly. You can you may press Ctrl plus A as regular you can use the key of enter to save the company. Now here, now the system is asking you to accept the company. Do you want to accept or not? Just you can click on yes. Now the company has been created in the name of Reliance. So in the last session, we discussed how to create a company. Now here, we are going to create a multiple companies in the same company. So now here, there is a company called as Reliance. If you wish to create another new company, there is totally two functions is there in tally application. One is Alt plus F1 and the other one is Alt plus F3. Alt plus F1 allows you to create a new company only by closing existing company. And Alt plus F3 allows you to create a new company by existing current company means it indirectly it is saying that to work on a group of companies so now here i'm going to work on group of companies the company in the name of reliance is already created now i'm going to press alt f3 and go to a create company i'm going to create a new company in the name of the mango and just confirm the address and the state confirm as in then you may press directly control plus a to save the company you can observe that in my main screen there is totally two companies has been created one is reliance and one is the mango so by pressing alt f3 you can work on multiple companies if you want to work on mango just click on mango and if you want to work on reliance company just click on reliance so like simultaneously you can access to both companies at a time if you use to press alt f3 so now after once the company is created now we'll discuss about how to alter what you created now we already created in the name of reliance and in the name of mango now i want to alter reliance company so if you want to alter a company from tally main page you just press alt f3 and go to alter and select the company that which you want to alter now i'm going to alter a reliance company so sim just simply click on reliance now again you are getting invoked to company profile page and here you may change the addresses and you may change the mobile number and you may change the email id whatever that you want to change you can change from this to company profile after once modifying the details you may press directly ctrl plus a to save the company so now it is altered and updated and saved once again so this is the way how we alter the companies now you know very well how to create a new company how to create a group group of companies and you also know how to alter the company next we'll discuss about how to uh, create a secured company now anybody can uh, can open lens company anybody can open mango company without using any username and password because there is no security for these two companies now i'm going to show how to create a secured company to create a secured company very simple as regular the basic one press alt f1 or alt f3 alt f1 will is used to create a new company only by closing existing company and alt f3 is used to create a new company by existing in current company from tally main page press alt f3 and go to create company 
now here it is giving a chance to, to declare all the company profile so once again i'm going to write the company name as tata motors and the legal name of the business is tata motors a private limited now you know very well how to confirm this but here at right bottom you can see that there is an option has been given in the name of security control so now here it is asking you to confirm a vault password i am going to confirm the vault password by giving a one two three four and once again confirm the vault password as again one two three four after once confirming the tally vault password and repeating the password just press enter now the system is asking you do you want to use security control yes now i want to keep my company secure so yes now it is asking you to confirm name of administrator the name of administrator is the ravi and the password is double zero double zero we have declared totally two passwords tally vault password is one two three four which is used to see the name of the company and to get into the company you have to confirm name of administrator and the password and press control plus a now the company is created with security now anybody can access the mango company and anybody can access the reliance company but if you want to access the reliance company you it is mandatory to confirm the passwords as well now i'm going to select company i'm going to see now from the list of companies you may observe the system is displaying reliance company name and system is also displaying the mango company name but system is not displaying the name of tata motors that star indicates there is some security for the company if you want to open the secured companies just press enter and first of all if you want to see the company name you have to confirm the tally vault password and the vault password is 134 now i'm going to confirm is some wrong password if you enter the wrong password the system will never allows you to get into the company so now i'm going to confirm the right vault password and that is 1234 when you confirm the right vault password the system will, will allows you to see the company name after once confirming the company to get into the company you may confirm the name of the user as ravi and the password of the user is double zero double zero only by confirming the right username the right password you may get into the company so this is the way how we create a secured company and how we open the company